I think the identification of um, the human blood stem cell you know, represents a significant step forward uh, in our understanding of how the blood system works and the ability to take that knowledge uh, and harness it for more clinically meaningful uh, therapeutic approaches. Some kinds of diseases, like some kinds of aggressive leukemia, you have to give people a really high dose of chemotherapy to wipe out every last leukemia cell. Now in the process, you're also killing off the normal blood system. And so we can say, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to clear you out of your leukemia, but we're going to take this donor stem cell from some, your brother or your sister or your related individual, and we're going to transplant that into you. It's pure, it's clean, it doesn't have any cancer contamination, and it will regrow a blood system in you. There are a number of other diseases uh, that could be uh, treated uh, with uh, stem cell transplantation. Perhaps if we expand stem cells and manipulate them uh, in, in, in ways that we are talking about, uh, we can open up a whole new era of regenerative medicine for another constellation of diseases.